going on, guys? This is Vinyl Reviews, and I'm not dead. <laughs> I've just been busy with the last few months because after Christmas and all, well, because I'm mostly just working and, like, other stuff. So, today will be Season 4, Episode 121. Today we're going to be talking about Jujutsu Kaisen Zero, which is, of course, the movie that released after the first season, I believe, or during the first mid-season of the first... I don't remember, but anyway. So, yeah, before I get to the review, that, yeah... Basically, I don't know if you could tell, but I moved all the way to Pittsburgh. <laughs> yes, I moved all the way over here. Yeah. So, that's what I've been doing the last couple weeks. I wanted to do a video just showing you guys, but of course, we've just been busy with the old house. The old house that I've been at for almost 15 years. And then, of course, this is our own house. So, this technically, this is my house instead of just renting someone else's house. Well, technically, my mom did, but <laughs> you know what I mean anyway. So, yeah. And that, yeah, I've just been busy with stuff. I've been lazy watching other stuff. Like, currently, I'm watching Clip, though, The Super Dog. Watch out for that review sometime in the future. Because I bought it on DVD along with Foster's Home, Beavis of Butthead, Daria, which I'll talk to eventually. Drawn Together, which I'll talk to about because it's the 20th anniversary pretty soon. And then, of course, uh, Foster's Home. I bought Auto Moon Suzumiya along with the movie and Disappearance of Yuki Chan, so I can't wait to talk about that later down the road. So, yeah, um, that's where I've been. So, let's get on to the review. Before we get that, I just want to say some stuff that's just some future episodes. I'm just going to see how much I can record in one day. So, some of these videos I've been planning to do for months, but of course, just work, tired, and just moving and stuff. So, <laughs> so of course, today's episode is Jujutsu Kaisen Zero, which is the movie. And, of course, next episode, I'm going to be talking about The Logic Rules, the 2022 Disney Plus original movie, along with Cabin Fever. Might as well just combine them into one video, because... Sure. And, of course, The Bad Guys and The Holiday Special, because might as well talk about that. That's the... Well, not the newest DreamWorks movie. The newest DreamWorks movie is, of course, Trolls Band Together, which I have not yet seen. I'll get around to that one eventually. And, of course, Hellraiser, Halloween Ends, Hellraiser 2022, by the way. Seinfeld, because someone mentioned that in a comment, so... I don't know who you are, but thank you. Proud Family, Louder and Prouder, Season 2, because I'm fine as well talk about the second season. And then here we go into some Marvel stuff. Yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy 3, Ant-Man the Wasp. And then, of course, yeah, that's pretty much it for the Marvel stuff for now until I see Captain Marvel 2. And then, of course, some Oscar-nominated movies from last year, technically. A couple from the <laughs> previous year, which, of course, is The Sea Beast, Spider-Verse 2, Elvis Presley movie with Austin Butler. Be on the lookout for that one. That's going to be a good one. Super Mario Brothers movie, Puss in Boots 2, Secret Evasion. Oh yeah, there's more Marvel stuff. And then, of course, we're going to talk about Gendy Talnovsky's Unicorn, Warriors Eternal, and Primal in the same video because the Primal review part is going to be short. Hey. And then, of course, we got the new Justice League slash Ruby Huntsman, and I believe it's called Superheroes and Huntsman's Part 1. I believe that's the full title. I'm just going to call it Justice League slash Ruby <laughs> Part 1. I haven't watched Part 2 yet. And, of course, Nimona, Evil Dead Rise, finally, saw that, finally. Shazam, Fury of the Gods, Blue Beetle, The Flash. I'm just going to do all the DC videos into, like, one or two videos, maybe three, because it's like, yeah, might as well, since DC is dead. Haven't seen Aquaman yet, but, yeah. And then after that, it's going to be Talk to Me, which I've heard a lot of good things, but I did not like it. Let's just say that. Ahsoka Tano, the TV show on Disney+, Plus. Daria, which I talked about earlier. The Melancholy of Hadamu Suzumiya, the movie, or The Disappearance of Hadamu Suzumiya, so I'll talk about that finally. The Disappearance of Yuki-chan, which is in the same universe as that. And then, of course, the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie that came out. Maybe I should do the other ones, too. I'll do those eventually. And then some Oscar-nominated movies this year from Barbie and Astro and, of course, Elemental. I haven't seen the other Oscar-nominated movies. And then, what else is there? I want to talk about Kong Pao. I just want to talk about a lot of movies, so yeah. Okay, let's get started. Jujutsu Kaisen, which zero, which was released in 2021, I believe, so. Let me see about that, okay? Yeah, here we go. Yeah, 2021. Is it free on Amazon? No, no, it's not. <clears throat> of course, I'm fucking crunchy rolling, like always. <sighs> Anime streaming services, I'm not gonna pay for them. I was just watch them on Hulu. But anyway, yeah, Jujutsu Kaisen Zero is surprisingly PG 13. I am surprised this movie's PG 13. It is really good, but again, it's like, I'm surprised this movie's PG 13. <clears throat> I believe you can watch Jujutsu Kaisen Zero on Max, if I'm not mistaken. I think it was on there. No one is just on Dr. P, Dr. Pepper. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, um, this video is getting a little long, so long story short, I love this movie. I'll give it an 8 out of 10 for sure. It is a great movie. But there's plenty of better anime movies out there. 
So yeah, long story short, if you like the anime, you would like this for sure. So yeah. Because I did, I think I did the review of the anime at one point. So yeah. See you guys next time for Diary of a Wimpy Kid, I believe. Yeah. See you guys later. Peace.